In today's video, we're diving into a thorough recap of Airbus mixed year in 2024 and its ambitious plans for 2025. Let's start with an overview of Airbus's performance in 2024. It was a year of highs and lows for the European plane maker. On the one hand, there was a surge in orders, proving the ongoing demand for Airbus aircraft. On the other, supply chain constraints slowed down production, a challenge the company is determined to address in 2025. 2024 saw Airbus achieving key milestones in its wide-body fleet. The A350 in particular had an outstanding year, attracting several new customers such as EVA Air, Indigo, and Korean Air. Longtime buyers like Abra Group, Delta Airlines, and Japan Airlines returned for more orders, showing their trust in the aircraft's capabilities. Notably, Emirates received its first A350, marking a significant milestone for the airline. The larger A350-1000, currently the biggest passenger aircraft in production, stands poised for further success. With Boeing's 777X program delayed yet again, Airbus is optimistic about gaining more customers for this flagship jet in 2025. Let's not forget the freighter version of the A350, which has also gained traction. Orders from major carriers like Air France KLM, Cathay Pacific, Turkish Airlines, Starlux, and Etihad are already in place. While the aircraft won't enter service until 2026, its flight test campaign is set to kick off in late 2025, a crucial step in its development. Turning to narrowbody aircraft, the A321 XLR hit a major milestone in 2024 with its certification and entry into service. Iberia became the first airline to take delivery of this game-changing long-range narrowbody, and Airbus is now focused on ramping up deliveries to eager customers in 2025. With its extended range, the XLR is set to revolutionize routes that were previously inaccessible for single-aisle jets. But it's not just the XLR that's making waves. The A321neo family continues to dominate, accounting for 85% of Airbus's single-aisle orders in 2024. More than half of the narrowbody deliveries were for the A321neo, and with Boeing struggling to offer a competitive alternative, Airbus is expected to maintain its stronghold in this segment in 2025. Production ramp-up remains a critical focus for Airbus. In 2024, the company delivered 510 A320 family aircraft, including 306 A321neos, reflecting a production rate of around 46 to 47 aircraft per month. However, Airbus has pushed its ambitious goal of 75 monthly A, 320 Neo family deliveries from 2026 to 2027 due to ongoing supply chain issues. In 2025, the target will be to lay the groundwork for achieving this increased output. On the wide body side, Airbus aims to boost A350 production to eight aircraft per month in 2025, up from the current six as it works toward its 2026 target of 10 per month. Similarly, the A220's production is set to grow, with a goal of 14 monthly deliveries by 2026, while 2024 saw an increase of 12% in A220 output compared to 2023, Airbus still faces challenges scaling up its facilities in Mirabel and Mobile. Despite its successes, Airbus faces several hurdles in 2025. Supply chain issues remain a significant roadblock, with the company forced to revise its 2024 delivery target from 800 aircraft to 770. The ongoing recall of Pratt & Whitney GTF engines is further complicating matters, as over 600 GTF-powered jets remain grounded at any given time. Geopolitical challenges also loom large. Airbus's negotiations with a Chinese customer for a historic aircraft order could be jeopardized by tensions between the European Commission and China over electric vehicles. Additionally, potential tariffs from the U.S. threaten to disrupt Airbus's global operations. What do you think of Airbus's outlook for 2025? Will the XLR dominate the narrowbody market, or will production challenges hold Airbus back? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.